How can a glam lover, skull and spider hater, can come up with a Halloween decor? That's exactly what I'm going to do in this coffee corner. So if you want to see what I came up with, keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well and enjoying your day so far. And if you're new visiting my channel for the first time, my name is Shule and I really love glam style, happy colors and I love decorating my home. So in today's video, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel for more relaxing and inspirational videos. In today's video, I'm super excited to make my very own, very first Halloween video for a collab called Michelle's Boobash. Michelle's channel is called Michelle's Cozy Home and for this challenge she has two co-hosts and they are Alicia over at the Alicia Lynn and Eileen over at the Hearts. I am new to all these three channels but they have beautiful channels. I scrolled down and saw what they've done, watch few videos, they are amazing in DIY so if you like such things definitely go and check them out and the links will be in the description box below. Well I can never find the colors that I want so this one is from Clearance Home Sense last year and I'm just changing the color as orange is not one of my colors. I DIY'd quite few pumpkins for this challenge. You just have to watch with the music relaxing and I will see you at the end and I'm going to decorate my coffee bar area with you. Lately, I really enjoy using spray paint to create interest, so while it's wet or sometimes I have to wait until the first layer is dry, I just create interest using different colors on top. And here it is, Poundland pumpkin from last year turned into my style and my colors. I'm happy the way they look and now let's move on to the larger one. Silver at the bottom, purple on top and purple inside, that's how I designed it. While these are drying, let's tackle with my sign, boo sign. 
If you've been with me for a while, you already seen me using this wood wash. It's from Rostolium and it's called Pearly Pink. I had to apply five layers until I was happy with the color but luckily it dries very quickly. I've done all the layers of camera now it is time to apply these letters that I bought from Home Bargains during Christmas last year. I'm applying them lightly in case I change my mind later on and use them in different settings. To cover the edge, I'm using my Christmassy ribbon that is in silver color and I am after in my favorite colors really glam boo sign so that's what I'm doing everything is ready let's decorate this black candle is from Home Bargains and it was only £1 and you can also buy it from Poundland as well. I am so happy with my super glam boo sign. I bought this Halloween pumpkin from Tesco and it was two or three pounds I believe. This was from Poundland and I bought it last year but they sell it again this year. The quality is questionable. <laughs> uh, I was going to DIY over it to improve the quality but I didn't have any time. This one is also from Poundland in my new favorite chameleon colors. This one is from Home Sense and it was in my favorite color and it was smiling not too scary so that's why it had to come home with me. I love how this turned out. I'm so happy now I'm going to put some sweets in it. I bought these trick or treat super glam hair clips and I will be using them on this tear tray and I bought it from I believe home bargains I think I bought it from home bargains maybe I paid one or 150 I don't remember 
I carefully detached them from the hair clip and used hot glue gun to glue it on the edge of the tear tray. To reveal my very first Halloween decor in my way, my style and my colors. I had only one black mug that belongs to my son, so I'm using it on my coffee machine. I wanted to create Halloween style that is not too scary, but super glam and happy. Let me know in the comments please if you think I achieved that. Thank you so much ladies, I really enjoyed participating in this fun challenge. My original plan was to have some cakes as well, to make some cakes really, but my oven broke so I only could do this coffee bar rather than making and displaying my cakes as well. So maybe next time. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational for your own kitchen decor. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to inspire you more. Until next time, stay safe. Bye bye.